NASA's uh, Deep Space Atomic Clock is flying on the orbital test bed satellite which launched on the SpaceX uh, Falcon Heavy rocket with around two dozen other satellites. The Deep Space Atomic Clock will change the way we navigate spacecraft and even how we send astronauts to Mars and beyond. The Deep Space Atomic Clock will help spacecraft uh, navigate autonomously through deep space. No larger than a toaster oven, the instrument will be tested in Earth orbit for one year with the goal of being ready for future missions to other worlds. The Deep Space Atomic Clock is a serious upgrade to the satellite-based atomic clocks that, for example, enable the GPS on your phone. Ultimately, this new technology could make spacecraft navigation to distant locations like Mars more autonomous. But what is atomic clock? How are they used in space navigation? And what makes the Deep Space Atomic Clock different? Watch this video for the answers. First, let us see about why do we use clocks to navigate in space. To determine a spacecraft's distance from Earth, navigators send a signal to the spacecraft which then returns it to Earth. The time the signal requires to make that two-way journey reveals the spacecraft's distance from Earth because the signal travels at a known speed, that is the speed of the light. While it may sound complicated, most of us use this concept every day. The grocery store might be a 30-minute walk from your house. If you know you can walk about a mile in 20 minutes, then you can calculate the distance to the store, right? By sending multiple signals and taking many measurements over time, navigators can calculate a spacecraft's trajectory, where it is and where it is headed. Most modern clocks, from wristwatches to those used on satellites, keep time using a quartz crystal oscillator. These devices take advantage of the fact that quartz crystals vibrate at a precise frequency when voltage is applied to them. The vibrations of the crystal act like the pendulum of a old grandfather clock, ticking off how much time has passed. To know the spacecraft's position within a meter, navigators need clocks with precision time resolution, that is, clocks that can measure billionths of a second. By space navigation standards, cost crystal clocks are not very stable. After only an hour, even the best performing quartz oscillators can be off by a nanosecond, that is, one billionth of a second. After 6 weeks, they may be off by a full millisecond, that is, one thousandth of a second, or a distance error of 300 kilometers. That would have a huge impact on measuring the position of a fast-moving spacecraft. Atomic clocks combine a quartz crystal oscillator with an ensemble of atoms to achieve greater stability. NASA's Deep Space Atomic Clock will be off by less than a nanosecond after 4 days and less than a microsecond, that is 1 millionth of a second, after 10 years. This is equivalent to being off by only 1 second every 10 million years. Atomic clocks are used on board GPS satellites that orbit the Earth. But even they must be sent updates two times per day to correct the clock's natural drift. Those updates come from more stable atomic clocks on the ground that are large, often the size of a refrigerator, and not designed to survive the physical demands of uh, going to space. Up to 50 times more stable than the atomic clocks on GPS satellites, NASA's Deep Space Atomic Clock is intended to be the most uh, stable atomic clock uh, ever flown in space. It achieves this stability by using mercury ions. For missions going to distant destinations like Mars or other planets, such precision makes autonomous navigation possible with minimal communication to and from Earth, a huge improvement in how spacecraft are currently navigated. 